Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do some repair maintenance. So let's have fun. I'm Martin Unix and today's tutorial will be based on repair maintenance. So I want to urge you to stay through the video as I will be sharing the basic uh, measures to guide you through the process of repair maintenance. We will begin by gathering the fame hairs at the veins of the locks, gently pulling them toward the main uh, strand without great intention. By use of 0.5 mm crochet needle, I will reattach the loose hairs by pulling them into the lock using a hooking motion, whereby now it shall be interchangeably using the vertical tilt and the dual rotational method to manage the loose hair strands around the roots into the main lock strand. This process is crucial for integrating loose hairs back into the lock, ensuring it maintains its structure and looks neat. Next, I will tackle the flyaways along the length of the lock by inserting the crochet needle where the flyaway emerges. I gently twist the needle to pull the loose hairs back into the lock. This technique smooths the surface and preserves the lock's shape, which is key for long-term strength and appearance. It's important to avoid trimming loose or frenzy hairs as they form part of the lock and contribute to its thickness. Trimming can lead to thinning and eventually breakage. By using this crochet method, we maintain the fullness and health of the locks while controlling flyaways. However, I noticed that uh, my hair growth wasn't particularly accommodating, making it necessary to adjust my approach. Instead of following the traditional straight lines, I interlocked at different angles to effectively manage the growth and distribute tension evenly across the roots. By varying the angles, I was able to prevent excessive pulling on any one area, reducing the risk of forming bumps and promoting healthy growth. This method not only enhances the overall appearance of the locks, but also ensures they remain strong and secure, allowing for a more polished and well-maintained look with evenly distributed tension. On this tutorial, I will be adapting the four-way interlocking method and to our beginners, I would kindly request you to revisit the channel for more extensive tutorials as pertains to interlocks and crocheting techniques. Now let's embark on undressing bumpy and splitting stones. To start, you will need a crochet needle, an essential tool for precious load locks maintenance. On my case, I'm using 0.5 mm. Begin by examining your locks and identify any bumps and irregularities. Once you have pointed these areas, hold the lock strand firmly, yet gently to avoid causing any excessive stress on the hair. Using the crochet needle and off the dual approach with both vertical tilt and rotational movements, insert the needle into the bumpy area at a vertical angle working it in and out of the lock. This movement helps to redistribute the hair, flattening the bump. Consider subscribing, like my comment, and share to your friends. After you have worked on that area, change the angle of the crochet needle to a slight tilt and use gentle rotational motions to smooth out the strands further. This combination not only creates an even service but also prevents future bumps from forming. Smoothing bumps is crucial for several reasons. Firstly, uneven areas can lead to tangling and snagging, ultimately causing breakage over time. By maintaining a smooth even service, you enhance the appearance of your locks 
and promote their overall health. A well-maintained lock is less likely to experience weakness or separation, allowing for a more cohesive and durable hairstyle. Next, let's focus on combining any splitting strands. Begin by identifying areas where your locks have started to separate. To prevent these strands for combining, I recommend wrapping around the thinning section gently. This step helps affirm the area and hands body, creating a firm base for crocheting. By doing this, you enhance the thickness and strength of the locks at these critical points making the subsequent crochet work more effective. So once you have rubbed the thinning sections, use your fingers to align the splitting strands closely together. This alignment is vital as it sets the foundation for the combining process. Now with your crochet needle ready, insert it at the point of separation. Use a vertical tilt to introduce the needle into the main body of the lock and gently pull the loose strands into the lock. Following this, employ the dual rotational method, twisting the crochet needle as you work your way down the strand. This technique ensures that the loose hairs are securely moving back into the lock, resulting in a more unified appearance. And for those who don't know how to do the crocheting method, I just say that uh, we have some extensive tutorials on the channel whereby I talked about the dual rotational method and the vertical tilt whenever you've been crocheting. So I want to urge you to revisit the channel for such. Combining separated strands is essential for maintaining the structural integrity of your dreadlocks. When strands split and are left untreated, they can create weak points that are prone to breakage. By integrating these strands back into the main body of the lock, you enhance its strength and reduce the likelihood of the future issues like thinning or breakages. Now this process not only keeps your locks looking neat but also supports their long-term health. Now uh, as you revisit the channel, let me just give a sneak peek of what to expect as pertains to the crocheting techniques. Just to emphasize on the dual rotation of method, what happens whenever you're doing the technique is that uh, you usually tilt the lock strands in both clockwise and anticlockwise uh, motions while pushing the crochet needle uh, inside the sections steadily without tilting the needle. Now, as we are back on the vertical tilt, you will quickly note that uh, the vertical tilt usually involves tilting the crochet needle in both upward and downward motions, whereby you interchange the needle facing up and down uh, motions while maintaining the portion, the hair portion, or else the log strands in a steady position. Now, through this, you will be tangling the hair by interchangeably uh, rotating the crochet needle both up and downwards. So you need to use both methods whenever you are handling this so that you can tangle the hair strands together while merging them effectively for a flawless outcome. Our adoptive various techniques of merging the strands together have resorted to this flawless and seamless log strand with amazing length. Now, as we wind up, we need to manipulate the texture of the merged sections by palm kneading along the length of the section so that the techniques can cohesively merge together in a unified way. This ensures that our final outcome is a well-processed look, which is pleasing to the eye. As you progress, remember to interlock the roots of your locks for handed stability. Interlocking provides a solid foundation 
ensuring that your logs remain securely hunkered as they grow. To do this, use the crochet latch to carefully interlock the roots, maintaining the same attention to detail as you did with the bumps and the splits. This handed step will help prevent any future loosening or separation of the locks. To achieve these amazing results, you need to revisit my channel and have a look on my playlist which focuses on repair maintenance techniques so that you can perfect on your adoptive measures to put into place whenever you are doing your repair maintenance on locks. Now let's say back on reattaching breaking strands. As we dive into the process of reattaching broken locks, let's start with the first step, assessing the damage. Carefully examine each broken strand to identify the weak points. Gently pull apart the damaged sections to clearly separate the weak parts from the healthy portions of the lock. This initial assessment is crucial as it helps you to understand the extent of the damage and sets the stench for successful repair. Use a pointed pin to comb out the ends of the broken strands, gently detangling any knots or frills. This step is essential because it creates smooth surface, allowing for a stronger intersection later on. Take the combed out sections of the broken strands and align them with the main body of the lock. This is where you will need to intersect and overlap the strands to create a secure point of connection. Align the hairs carefully so that they blend seamlessly with the existing lock. This attention to detail will help ensure a natural appearance once we complete the reattachment. Pay attention to distributing tension evenly across the lock to avoid pulling or discomfort. This technique will help you to weave the separated hairs back into the main lock effectively. Take your time with this step, ensuring that each strand is fully integrated. This grafting process not only ensures a secure attachment, but also reinforces the overall integrity of the lock. Now, just to emphasize on the interlocking, as I begin the process of interlocking the roots of my locks, I focus on the importance of this step in maintaining their overall health and stability. Since I am working with large voluminous locks, I choose to adopt the bow interlocking method. This technique not only helps achieve that desirable cylindrical shape, but also ensures my locks have a secure foundation. As I interlock each lock, I pay close attention to how they feel. A well-secured root should feel stable yet flexible, allowing for natural movement as my hair grows. Investing time in interlocking the roots is very worth the effort. It guarantees that the locks flourish, combining beauty with strength and resilience, and ensuring that you can confidently showcase your unique style. In conclusion, I applied the essential oils to soothe the scalp as well as rechanging the nutrients present in the hair. Each lock displays a polished, uniform shape, reflecting both strength and beauty. This journey highlights the importance of attention to detail in achieving a stunning hairstyle. Thank you for joining me and I hope you are inspired to embrace your own lock journey. Alright, I can just take this judge to invite my model so that she can talk more about her experience today. Hello everyone, Artistic Beast here. As Martin Unix has said, he found me on his booking. Why was I on his bookings page? Guys, my hair was in ICU. We literally had to resuscitate it today. I lock my hair using interlocking method. A very specific method that doesn't use the crochet. There's a crochet interlocking and there's the interlocking without the crochet. So for the longest time, and I'm talking about more than five years, I've been looking for someone to do my hair repair. Now, let's just say it's been a journey of many, many, many hands through this hair. And the results was me having the most bumpiest hair locks why why are locks bumpy only god knows at this stage when i contacted martin munich my hair was weak some parts were falling off 
because the people who are doing my maintenance were not doing it the right way with the right technique know how to do interlocking the right way okay the right way not with bumps not with breakages not with some funny attachment styles i came to the right person at the right time because dear lord look at what martin has done to my hair look at my it went from icu to my golden locks are back look at the health that my hair has every strand i can now proudly say this is my hair i can proudly say i know a loctician i can trust with my eyes closed and guys let me tell you it's been a process and martin has been nothing but patient he's been kind he's been understanding he's been entertaining i've learned a lot from him only martin has had the patience to go through strand okay after strand repairing since morning no breaks no breaks okay this is the first break we're having so if you want someone giving you unmatched dedication passion professionalism and expertise please note there's a big difference between a hairdresser and a hair stylist martin is a hair stylist hairdressers will get your hair back to icu if you want you know who to book you know who to call do not hesitate at your own risk ignore my advice martin is the guy to go to you know what to do book with martin unix today get your locks fresh and healthy most importantly get the best service because this hands down is the best service i've ever had and i will keep having since i'm sticking with martin for life Thank you. Thank you guys. You have heard from the horse's mouth. I hope the tutorial was quite informative. Keep subscribing, like more comment, and share to your friends. Let's meet in the next tutorial. Thank you.